I always find it crazy how people never truly prioritize getting in shape and building a good body, especially while you're young as well. For example, I'm 21 and I'm in quite good shape and I get a lot of compliments. I've got a lot of confidence in myself because of this journey. But a lot of people my age who are 21 don't give a fuck about their health. They don't care about their health. In the future tense, they're not understanding what that truly does to them. And they're not understanding the habits that they're teaching themselves. But they will just not care. They will vape all day. They will eat loads of shit. They drink loads of alcohol. And in moderation, don't get me wrong, this is fine. In moderation, a little bit here or there, that's fine. But on a real perspective, they do that every day. They don't take care of themselves. They don't actually view themselves as doing a bad habit because they're so normalized in themselves. And they may have a mate that I do it with them. So they're not as lonely doing that thing and they don't feel as bad doing that thing because their friend did it with them, therefore it's all right because misery loves company. And it's one of these things that I find crazy. I really do. I find it actually mad. And I'm not saying if you don't have time for the gym, you don't take care of your health. I'm not saying that because let's say a lot of people work hard and they're at work a lot of times. Let's say you work on the road or whatever. You will be out a long period of time. But when you are not following or not actually taking care of your diet, that's where the issues start commencing. And... I've had people in my life who have told me, being fat don't matter, they don't matter, or I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I'm fat, I'm happy, or being in shape don't matter, being in shape don't matter, and giving me all these copes, and now they're starting to have issues because they're older. Now they're starting to have issues because of them decisions that they made. So does it matter? Does it matter? This is very serious, don't get me wrong, this is a very serious start of the video, sometimes I'm a bit more happy, but on a real level, this is very serious. This is very serious. And they're starting to have issues with their health because they've came from that perspective of being in shape they matter, being in shape they matter, or it doesn't matter if I eat healthy or no, it doesn't matter. And how does it not matter? How does it not matter? It leads to obesity, it leads to issues with yourself, it leads to issues with your self-confidence, it leads to so many negatives, it leads to a lack of discipline that you will continue in a further perspective because you are so used to that lifestyle that you actually hurt yourself long term. And especially as you get older, imagine what that does to you. Imagine you don't try to break out of that. Imagine you're out of shape and unconfident and you eat like shit all the time. Imagine how that catches up to you. Imagine how that catches up to you in a future tense. And when you're young, it don't matter because that's so long away. But in reality, the time's gonna go by. Time's gonna go by. And if you are not disciplined with how you eat and if you are not smart with how you eat, and I'm not saying all the time you can't eat shit here or there, don't get me wrong, but what I'm saying is if you are not disciplined most of the time and you are not actually having an idea of how you're eating, how do you expect yourself to be in a good position when you're older, health-wise? And it's sad, man, because some people I speak to don't actually care. They really don't care. And I find that mad because that goes into every area of your life, your health. That goes into every area of your life. It goes into literally how you feel about yourself, your actual health, how you interact with people. Because if you're in better shape, you're more confident. You want to interact with people more. And you'll be better in the interaction because you have more confidence in yourself. And these people don't see it. These people don't see it. And this is why you have to prioritize your body and getting in shape. Because otherwise, you're going to be in a position in a future tense. Let's say, for example, me. Let's give me 25 years. I'll be 46 in 25 years. Let's say I've ate loads of shit. I bet loads of shit. Donuts every day. Chocolate every day. Every day, every day, every day. Smoking weed, smoking weed. How am I going to be in a future tense? How am I going to be? And let's say I'm already out of shape at this moment. How am I going to be in a future tense? Do you really think that's going to help me? Do you really think I'm going to look back and think, shit, oh, that's, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, that, that was a really good time. Do you really think I'm going to look back? Oh, yeah, that was amazing. I'm so happy I've done that. Of course not. Of course not. And then now I go to the doctors and they're saying, I've got this issue, I've got this thing wrong with me, I've got this thing wrong with me. And I'm asking, why, why, why? They're going to say, oh, because you're obese, because you're overweight, because you haven't been taking care of yourself. But these people told me I can, I can live like that. They told me I can live like that and I'd be fine. It's not the case, man. It's not the case. But let's say if, on the other comparison, if you're healthy and you take care of yourself over that 25-year period of time, imagine the position you'd be in because you're actually still healthy and you're actually still watching what you eat and you're in a better position, especially with the gym training as well. And even building muscle. People don't want to build muscle nowadays either. They don't want to build a physique and they don't want to do that because it's hard. But 
it's better even on an older perspective for you to build muscle and you to build strength especially as you get older your bones start to weaken your testosterone starts to go down so if you build up higher strength you will actually maintain a better level of strength than if you didn't even train at all and that's a good mindset to view it as and i just don't want you lot falling for this bullshit these people spout nowadays where they're saying oh your body don't matter or oh, your body don't matter or oh, it's okay to eat shit it's okay for me to do this because of this reason because of this reason it's not okay it's not okay it's okay here or there it's okay as a treat but it's not okay on an everyday perspective it's not okay and the body game changes your perspective imagine you're confident in yourself imagine you view yourself as someone you're happy for you're actually grateful for imagine you view yourself as good view yourself as attractive imagine that and then also imagine your health imagine how you feel in yourself imagine you actually feel healthy you feel good in yourself imagine what that does to your life imagine what that does to your life to the other perspective of just eating shit and not caring and drinking your sorrows away and smoking all the time and i'm not saying people don't have problems that's what i'm not saying i'm not saying people don't have issues i'm not saying that but what i am saying is you need discipline you need discipline as you get older because otherwise you're going to fall into that habit doing that all the time and therefore that's going to be your normal set point and you're going to think there's nothing wrong with that until you get told in a future tense that you've got this thing wrong with you and you've got loads of things wrong with you it's not right to be out of shape it's not right and i'm not saying you can't fall off here or there and then get back on it i'm not saying that but what i am saying is you need to start prioritizing your health you need to because that will change everything how you view yourself your confidence it's the best thing i've ever done it is the best thing i've ever done prioritizing my health and prioritizing my body best thing i've ever done and now i'm in a position where i get compliments i get in random stuff i get people coming up to me asking for help i get girls coming up to me i get different interactions with girls they're making it obvious they're wanting to do something for me i get people who want help from me i get actual confidence i'm better in interactions i believe in myself more and i feel amazing i feel really good i've got amazing health i feel healthy that's the main thing that's the main thing but I don't want you lot falling for these other people's agendas. That's just a load of bullshit that will actually get you hurt long term. And that's going to be a true message in this video. I hope you lot got a lot of value. If you want to achieve your dream physique, a body that you're confident and you're actually grateful in, that builds attraction, that gets women attracted to you so you can have good experiences and actually believe in yourself and actually feel yourself in a better light, shoot me an email at roadlouis23 at gmail.com.